during the season, uh, it's really hard to um, really sit back and look at all the games because you're once that game's over, you're on to the next. So you really don't have time to really sit there and evaluate everything uh, as closely as you would on a bye week. That was Iowa State quarterback Hunter Deckers talking about how the bye week has benefited them. Uh, Jeff, I think this is they this came at a great time for them. I mean, Matt Campbell said that this is the healthiest they've been all season. So not only have they had time to kind of heal some of those injuries, but it's also been some time to kind of work out those kinks on offense. Yeah, they've been able to actually look at themselves and not prepare for another opponent. They did a little bit of that against Texas where they did some self scout to say, all right, what do we not do well? Let's change it. And that offense worked a little bit better. So now you can do things even more in depth. I think the other thing is getting rest for that running back room because your best running backs are Jirel Brock and Cartavius Norton. They've been injured since week two. And so now you get hopefully a fully or mostly fully healthy running back room and the chance to look at yourself. So this Iowa or the Iowa State offense should come out of this bye week substantially better, if nothing else, to just look at yourself and, I don't know, get some rest. Yeah, and it's sticking with the offense, particularly talking about the running backs, how much does having both of those guys back um, as close to fully healthy as possible um, elevate this offense and allow them to function a little bit more in the way that we saw them the first three weeks of the season? Yeah, I mean, I love basketball metaphors. And one of the things is imagine you're an offense in basketball who has two good three-point shooters and neither one of them's healthy. What is the floor spacing going to look like? What are the motions going to look like? Who's getting the ball? It all completely changes. So with two running backs being healthy, you have both of your options to run the ball, which makes everything else open. In basketball, shooters make your centers better. Point guards are better, easier to get the ball out to people just because you have guys that can do the job. So having Jairo Brock and Cartavius Norton healthy makes a huge difference, especially in an offense like Iowa State's that wants to run the ball. Yeah, definitely takes some, some pressure off of Hunter Deckers as well, allows him to play a little bit more free. Well, uh, to tell us what we can expect for the weather for Saturday's games, let's send it over to local five meteorologist Taylor Coos. Hey, right now the, the weather's going to be completely fine, whether it's for the fans or for the, the games themselves. Uh, the weather will not be an issue. Really ideal fall weather uh, for later on today. We're looking at temperatures and aims for the Iowa State game to start off around the low 50s at kickoff, warming to the upper 50s by the fourth quarter. Light winds, plenty of sunshine expected in Ames and really not too different in Iowa City either. Kickoff at 2.30 for the Hawkeyes. Temperature should be in the low 60s, and that's pretty much where they're going to stay uh, all the way through the fourth quarter. So whether it's in Ames or Iowa City, looking good to go across central Iowa later on today. All right, thank you, Taylor. Well, on the other side of the break, we'll get into the keys to the games for today's matchup.